Um, last thing I want to touch on is just um, if it is applicable in your region um, or the county or city you're working in, some houses require a deck inspection or an ice and water inspection. So when you come across those, say we needed a deck inspection, um, as soon as that roof's tore off, you're gonna wanna get in contact with your scheduler or production manager. Most of the time, I think it would be the scheduler and let her know, hey, the roof's ready for a deck inspection. Let's go ahead and get this called in. Um, same goes for the underlayment or ice and water. Once the house is all dried in, um, we go ahead and communicate that with the scheduler um, to let them know the roof is ready for that city inspection. Okay, so if the inspection gets done later in the day, does that mean that the crew is going to have to come back at a different time to finish up the job, depending on what market you're in? Yep, that, that will depend on what market you're in. You're in. Um, commonly in Washington, um, it's a very intense uh, screening process with the city inspectors. So the way we do things there, um, we'll tear off that roof, go ahead and dry it in, call in the city inspection, and wait to see if they give us any corrections or if it passed. Um, as soon as we get the go ahead, um, we're free to, between you and the scheduler, to go ahead and reach back out to that crew and let them know the house is good to be shingled. Cool. Now, what is a supplement, JD, in, in layman's terms? Explain it to me like I'm five. Layman's terms. I'll use small words that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog faced buffoon. A supplement is anything outside the proof scope of work. Okay. So talking about supplements, from a project manager point of view, from time to time, you are gonna discover things on the roof that you didn't know about. And that's where QC and, and the project manager need to work together to make sure that both, both departments are aware of what's going on. But as soon as we discover that a supplement is gonna be necessary, as the project manager, you should be getting your own set of pictures. You should be putting notes in the file that you also are aware of things because more eyes will help. What is a supplement? We talk about that a lot. Um, a supplement is, quite frankly, the job was approved and now the QC is on the job and we discovered something we didn't know about. I showed two layers. I showed a uh, non-nailable surface or out of code decking, skip sheathing, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, these are things that, because we didn't know about it going in, we didn't, have the approval from the insurance company. Now it's your job as the project manager to make sure you get adequate pictures of that. So as soon as QC sends you a note saying, hey bud, we discovered there's a second layer. We discovered out of code. What things could be out of code, JD? Uh, decking, chimney flashings. Mm, okay. um, commonly, if we tear off the roof, mm -hmm. um, the older chimneys, they just don't have step flashing or any type of flashing. Mm, okay. So current codes nowadays, they state we need to add that flashing. What um, about drip edge? Drip edge, yep. Another thing that is code nowadays. Okay. Um, some of the older roofs, we go to tear off that roof, there's no drip edge. Um, but as long as the homeowner has that building code coverage as part of their policy, we go ahead and get all the photos we can, install the proper material, and then supplement for that to the carrier just to make sure you're getting paid for everything, all the work being performed on that job. Fantastic. We all know it as a function of the reality is there are three sets of people watching, but as a, from the project management side, you need to assume you're the only one. Right, it's our job. And that's, that's where I want the, the, the project manager to be. Like, it's on him. Supplements, you gotta be there to prove that it got done. PWI, you gotta prove that it was done. If you know, how do I say this? If they tear off the roof and you're there during tear off and you see that there are two layers or you see that there are metal valleys or you see that there's ice and water shield because you couldn't see that until it was torn off, you need to get pictures of it because we can supplement for that. There was ice and water shield. That means the insurance company is obligated to put ice and water shield back up there. Because as of course we talk about in our um, insurance basics, the insurance company is paying for what was there to be put back. So if it was there, you need to get pictures of it so that we can make sure the insurance company pays to put it back. Ice and water shield is a big one. Uh, Metal Valleys is another big one. These are things you can't see. There's no universe where you're gonna be able to see that until the tear-off occurs. 
But if you want to be able to give your homeowner what they had, and that should be your goal, you need to be there. Yeah, and I would say it's just a safe bet to be, it's better to be safe than sorry. You can never have too many photos. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro, 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 pro tip. What I, what I say regularly to my, to my uh, project manager trainees is, you're better to have the picture and not need it than need the picture and not have it. And I think that applies across the board. The reality is the end goal is always a satisfied customer. Yes. The money is a happy side effect of a satisfied customer. So our job then is to make sure that everything is done in a way that the customer can be taken care of properly. Yeah, and if we do our jobs, all of us collectively do our jobs, we have happy customers and then we have a thriving company. And then we all continue to have jobs. Because honestly, if we don't have happy customers, we don't have a thriving company. And if we don't have a thriving company, well, we're, we're all, all going to be going on the back to McDonald's. Line. Right? Yeah, you want to flip burgers? Like $16 an hour now. So well <laughs> Teamwork makes a dream work. Hell yeah. <laughs>So we talked earlier about how you need to go back to the job a couple of times. And I spoke about PWI, um, which of course is paid when incurred. The time to find out paid when incurred is right now. Your QC guy's coming back for his second part of the inspection. And as you can see behind us, the installation is beginning. If there were PWI on this job, this is where they'd be installing it. And it's up to you as the project manager to get up there and get some photographs of it because the insurance company isn't gonna pay PWI if it wasn't WI. PWI is paid when incurred. You're so wise. You're like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. Um, so you gotta have the photographic evidence, so now's the time. You should know your estimate. If there's PWI, you know about it, and you should be keeping close tabs on that to be here now, and quite frankly, they know things like this too. They know when the dry in's happening. So you should be communicating with your QC guy and saying, hey man, there's PWI on this job. If you get back and I'm not there and they're doing install, can you let me know so I can come get pictures? Is there anything we can do for you when we come back to get pictures of PWI? Um, no, I think the biggest thing uh, with PWI, is, like you said, it's gonna be the ice and water shield. Um, and not just installing the ice and water shield, but determining how much ice and water needs to be installed. And that's gonna be all determined on um, our soffit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why the soffit measurement picture we take is so important during the inspection. Right, so, and, and it's also, say, you know, even if our work order will state one row of ice and water on the eaves, mm -hmm. but on day of install, either the quality control rep or the sales rep, maybe both of them together, um, take a double look at that soffit and realize this soffit is 24 inches. At that time, we can get a picture of that measurement um, and go ahead and supplement for that just to make sure we install the correct amount of ice and water shield. The very last thing we want to do is put, to, uh, put a roof on a house and not have it to coat. Pro, 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 pro tip. Pro tip <laughs> Pro tip. Michael, Michael Lostra. There you go. The roof That's... pop. Stop it. Get some help. Um, as we get into the summer and it gets to that really warm weather, um, super easy to scar shingles. Um, what that means is our crews are just being a little rough or even you walking on it. Um, if you're sliding down the roof in that hot weather with those shingles, it's gonna cause granule loss. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yeah, and guys, this is really important, especially on uh, roofs that are getting installed with the lighter colored shingle. You got your Shasta whites, your Sierra grays, anything that is above like a darker brown. Uh, it, it's really prominent on those colors to have this scarring issue during install. <laughs> That's a terrible high five. So the magic has happened. Obviously, the roof is done, the crew is gone, everything's finished. You should be back at the end of the day when the job gets finished, whether that's 
the same day as the start or if it's the next day. And it depends on your market, it depends on the roof, it depends on a number of factors whether or not it's going to get finished the same day it was begun. At the end of, the, at the end of it, it doesn't matter. You should be there when the job is complete. You need to go with the customer and walk the property. You need to walk around and make sure that the customer is satisfied. If you're walking with your customer and you're picking up bits and pieces, they're gonna be picking up bits and pieces. And if you have more than a handful, well, maybe that's something you need to talk to the QC people about. What do you think, JD? Uh, I love that idea. Um, when it's very minimal stuff, um, like we said uh, with the quality control reps, just be proactive and pick those up. Do it! But, but if it's an excessive amount, definitely reach out to the quality control rep um, just so we can be informed and then we can tackle that issue with the subcontractor. And, and I agree with that uh, notion that you guys can then fix the problem on your side because you know about it. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that goes back to the whole communication that we've been talking about throughout this entire training. The two sides of this, of this organiza uh, organization working together. Mm -hmm. um, I've said it for a long time. Um, the project managers essentially are the eyes of the Bartlett organism. You guys are the hands. Mm -hmm. And the hands got to know what the eyes see. So when we see something as project managers, we need to let them know if it's problematic. Be proactive, pick up. If, if it's three or four nails, if it's a couple of bits of underlayment that got lost, fine. But if you walk the property with the homeowner, they know the nooks and crannies to check. Mm -hmm. They'll see the places. And if you're seeing their hands full too, well, that's a training issue that QC wants to tackle. If it's ones or twos, the homeowner's happy. You tell the homeowner, or you ask the homeowner rather, hey, what do you think? Isn't this awesome? Doesn't that look great? And the homeowner's gonna be like, wow, I got a brand new roof. Wow, they did it in just X amount of days. Wow, it only cost me my deductible. Wow, 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 wow. They're thrilled to use that thrilled excitement they have, but, but get out there and get them to accept the property, to, to accept our job is complete. And ask first, you know, at the last thing you do, okay, is there any concerns, are there any questions? Would you say you're satisfied with this process? And when they say, yeah, I'm satisfied with this process, then you front load them for the next part of the process. You say, cool, we're gonna send off the final invoice, I'll let you know when the check's on the way. Would you be comfortable giving us a five-star review when the check gets here? And now when it comes time to collect the check, you can ask for it because they already said they'd give it to you. This is how you plan and position. <laughs> yeah, and, and I like that because we focus so much just on the roof itself, but working with Bartlett and pro part of our whole product package is how we take care of the customer's mm -hmm. property, um, how we take care of their personal items, making sure we clean up just as good as it was the day we started. Right, and you you promised the customer when you sat with them during the pre-production meetings and you went through all this, you promised that the cleanup would be to their satisfaction. So you better make sure it's to their satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do it is to ask, is this to your satisfaction? They'll tell you. If they don't like the way something was done, you're gonna hear about it and then you're, gonna, then you're gonna have to take action to fix it. <laughs>
shaking and baking. <laughs> you take this and you tuck it in your pocket, and then you grab your iPad. Small hands, you know what they say. Oh, oh there it goes, there it goes. There it goes. Da -da 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 -da.